Hello and welcome to the Super Size Phys Ed Podcast. I'm Dave, I'm your host, and I teach in Fort Myers, Florida, PE, kindergarten, fifth grade. So welcome, and I'm glad you're here. So today is going to be one of those like inspirational, hopefully, things that I want to share with you, um, inspirational um, documentary I saw. It's like the greatest thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> and I want to tell you about that coming up. Here we go. All right. So like I said, this might not be a super practical as far as um, a certain game to play. And it's not an interview. It's more of a, holy cow, I saw the coolest thing ever and I want to share it with you. And if you've never seen this movie, it's called, or it's a documentary, it's called Free Solo. And I heard of it about a year ago. And at first I thought it was something to do with Star Wars, but it, <laughs> absolutely not. It is about climbing and a, a free solo means somebody who climbs without ropes. And I had to watch it twice. I couldn't. And then I've watched uh, like other uh, YouTube clips about uh, this guy. His name is Alex Honnold. And he is amazing. He is absolutely amazing. This So the documentary is about him and his journey um, climbing without ropes. Now, man, I just can't even explain this thing unless you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, you need to see this or at least look him up on YouTube. He is absolutely incredible. And like, I've never been a rock climber. I've climbed some, uh, you know, at, at the local, you know, places, jumping places or whatever. And at camps, I've climbed, you know, just with ropes and, you know, on the climbing wall type thing. I've done that. Never climbed rocks before. And this it's just the most amazing thing ever. So it follows Alex around. He's got a film crew and it follows him um, climbing some um, some other, I guess, barriers, other type of structures, mountains, and um, without ropes, first of all. And it goes through the kind of the history um, of people trying it and most of them dying. I mean, talk about crazy, at least in my mind. Like, why would you ever do that? That's just, if you fall, you die. That is absolutely positively it if you fall you die and someone even on the documentary one of his friends said something like imagine going for the olympic gold medal and you either make it or you die i mean that that's that's it and this thing was just like it opened my eyes though to not only the um mountain climbing world i guess or rock climbing sorry rock climbing world and how it works a little bit and the people some of the big players i guess but also just going for your dreams. So in the documentary, it follows his basically his dream of climbing El Capitan or El Capitan or El Cap or whatever you want to call it. It's actually in uh, Yellowstone, I believe. Was it Yellowstone? Yeah. I thought it was in a different country. I didn't really realize it's in the it's in California, and um, it's just this massive uh, mountain uh, or rock wall. I don't know what you want to call it, but that was to him. It was like the gold medal. That was like the greatest thing that he could accomplish. No one had ever done that free solo before. And so he wanted to give that a go. Now, again, he falls, he dies. And oh my gosh, it's just <laughs> watching him do this was the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. First of all, I, I guess I thought rock climbing for him was just like, okay, start climbing. And if you get in trouble, you get in trouble. And what are you going to do? He actually showed, or they actually showed him training for it on different parts with ropes so he can figure out how he's going to do it. And and he would write these down. Like, you know, on this part, you're going to use, you know, right finger cross, and then you're going to step over with your right your left leg and do this move. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I didn't realize it was this complicated. But um, he journaled all that, and there was this one spot he could not get past without a rope. It was called the boulder problem. And he had to decide either to basically jump for a spot, I guess the next part of it, like he was stuck on one spot, he either had to jump or he had to do some kind of like little, he called it like a karate kick and then hold that in place and go to the other side or whatever it was. It was just um, incredible. I keep saying incredible, amazing. It was. And um, I'm not going to give you too many spoilers, but <laughs> let's just say he's still alive. So... Um, you know, watching him go go for his 
uh, his dream and knowing that if he didn't make it, he would fall to his death was something that I, I just can't wrap my head around. I can wrap my head around goals, but that kind of goal. Um, and he talked about it like, you know, it was, if he thought it was too dangerous, he wouldn't do it. And they actually showed him uh, not doing it. One Like one morning they thought he was going to go and then he just canceled. He just didn't feel right about it. It was a slippery spot kind of thing. And he's just like, I'm, I'm done, you know. <laughs> and that really played with his head. And you could see that, you know, he's just, then he started doubting himself. And this whole thing, it was just amazing to watch, really. And I want to show that to my students as well, just um, to show them not only about goal setting, but about, you know, the potential of, you know, what's out there, you know, everything that's out there, just the different, um, not just sports, but goals and dreams. And uh, I'm not trying to inspire them to do this, but (laughs) just in general, um, what is out there? And it was just amazing. So I hate hate to keep saying amazing and awesome and incredible, and but it it was, and, and you need to see it. But anyways, here's your cowboy tip of the day. All right, so your tip of the day is to go for your dreams. I know that sounds cliche, but think about your your life, your goals, and what you want to do and where you want to be in five to 10 years or more. So really think about, well, is this where I want to be? And if I haven't gone on a ledge, maybe not literally, but figuratively, you know, why not? Why haven't you done what you want to do with your life? Like I'm, I'm actually talking to myself also when I'm, as I'm talking to you, you know, there are many, many things I want to do and, and have my, my, my children experience. And, you know, why haven't we done some of these things? You know, I live in Florida where, and I grew up in a cold place and, you know, most of the time in Buffalo, you know, my, my kids haven't really been in snow very much. And I, you know, I want them to have these experiences. I want them to have, um, just different moments and different things that they can remember the rest of their lives. And I do too. So go for your dreams, go for it. This is kind of a different episode, but a different cowboy tip of the day, but think about what, where you want to be and how to get there and go for it. And that is your tip of the day. All right, PE Nation. Thank you for tuning in. I know this is a different kind of episode, but you need to see this. You really need to see this free solo or go on YouTube and look him up. He is absolutely amazing and he will inspire you to do great things. I hope I have too, just by kind of reporting that, or reporting what he's done. And um, I'm, like I said, I'm, I plan on showing this to my students. I started to and we kind of ran out of time. So um, hopefully, hopefully that inspires you and his story can inspire you because man, it inspired me. Check it out, free solo. And I hope you have a great day. PE Nation, here is a new beat for you.